Hey friends, good morning. So today I wanted to do a little bit of harvesting. I want to harvest my spearmint and then I want to dry it. But before I do that, I wanted to give you an update on our fermented honey. Um, it's fermented with um, garlic, <laughs> garlic and honey. So we fermented the honey with some garlic. It's been a while, you can see how liquidy it is. And I've been taking it for the past week and I want to see um, just how good this works this winter. Hopefully I'm not going to get sick this winter. I usually don't get sick. I'm usually pretty healthy. So what I've been doing is just taking a teaspoon full of this. See how liquidy it's like, you know how uh, honey is usually really thick, but this is nice and thin. It's got a garlicky and honey taste to it. It, you, it tastes like you would think it would taste. So I've been taking a teaspoon a day and it's supposed to really help to keep your immune system up. And I think in this day and age, that's a good thing. But let's go out to the garden and harvest some spearmint. Okay, this is the spearmint. Um, as you can see, some of it is going to seed, which is fine. That's fine because we'll, we're going to leave some for the bees, but there's still a lot of spearmint here. Look how bushy this is. And I actually bought the spearmint from Walmart in the produce section, and I just planted it outside, and it has really taken off. And I wanted to come out here and harvest this before it all goes to seed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to harvest this. I've got my little basket right there. Um, not sure how much we're going to get or how much I'm going to cut off. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. But my goal is to make some spearmint tea. And then I'm also going to use some of this spearmint in a wrap. So let's go ahead and start harvesting this. Okay, I'm just going to go to the bottom and cut off two, where two leaves meet and where there's new growth. I'm just going to cut it off. So we have it like that. It's nice and bushy. Oh, it's very bushy. And I always cut on an angle because I was taught, I don't know, I believe my mom used to tell me when I was younger, or maybe it was my dad, that you always cut on an angle. Oh, there's so much here. Um, apparently we can harvest, I'm going to leave that one, we can harvest um, like every six weeks or so. But this is the first time I'm harvesting uh, this mint. And next year, after I dry this, and I this is the first time I'm doing this, everything I'm doing this year is pretty much the first time I'm doing it ever. And that's because this is a learning experience for me. It's, it's new. So you are learning with me. This We're doing this together. Uh, I'm not doing this by myself. You're here with me, learning with me. And sometimes I fail, sometimes I succeed, but all in all, we are learning and it's always a good thing. So this smells so good. I love mint. This one is going to seed. So I'm going to let that one continue to go to seed. And then next year, this whole container, which is pretty much full right now, this whole container is going to have even more mint in it. And I think I would also like to try, for next year, I would like to try uh, some chocolate mint. I think that would be good. Yeah, chocolate mint sounds really good. I know um, a couple of channels, I know one channel specifically, they make a chocolate tea. And I think they probably use chocolate mint. I think that would be so much fun. All right, these ones pretty much, well, maybe I'll cut a little more. Oh, I don't really have any place. To, well, no, I don't have any place to cut that one. Maybe I can cut this one a little bit more. Put it down over here. Hmm. Well, we'll 
let that one go. This one, we'll let those go. These ones are all going to seed. I'm going to let them go to seed and let the bees have some of it because we got quite a bit right there. Look at all that uh, spearmint. We got a lot of a spearmint right there. So we're going to go clean this up and then we'll um, tie it up and dry it. And I think I also want to make some mint ice cubes. All right, friends, we are back in the house. We've got our mint here in our little basket. Isn't that cute? I found this basket at a, it was kind of like a flea market type deal. Look how pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse the mint and then um, I'm gonna put it on this towel to dry. I filled up my ice cube tray and after I clean some of this mint, I'm gonna put, this is filled with water. I'm going to put some of the mint in here and then I'm going to use it like for a iced water drink. Um, maybe put cucumbers in it. I don't know, I'm, I'm experimenting, I don't know. So this one has some small leaves. So I'm just gonna rinse these. and then kind of let them dry a little bit. But um, I'm, before I let them dry, I'm gonna pick off some mint leaves and put them in my ice cubes. These little ones work perfect. Work perfect. Uh, see, the ones that I'm putting in are about this size right here. That'll give us a nice mint taste. Oh, another thing that I learned um, is what I should do is like you take the mint and you slam it like this and you don't do it too hard, but you like you take the mint and you go like this and it helps to release the oils. And well, I'm not doing that right now because I'm putting these leaves in here and I don't want to do that to the whole plant or the whole, um, Piece that I have here because I want this to dry. I'm only making one ice cube tray. Uh, that one had too much a little piece on it. a nice little piece and this one okay I'm going to put my ice cube tray in the freezer and let this mint cubes freeze so I'll have mint ice cubes all right let's get the rest of these washed got quite a bit. I'm really surprised. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised because <laughs> this is the first time I harvested this mint all year. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. The smell. It's a good thing I like mint. I like spearmint. I like winter mint. But I, I love all mint pretty much. Peppermint patties, like the peppermint junior mints. Those are my favorite kind of candies. Now, <laughs> I mean, I can't eat the peanut butter, uh, uh, Reese's peanut butter anymore, or Reese's pieces, but it's okay. I will live. All right, I'm going to put these on this towel. They will continue drying, and then I will show you what I'm going to do to um, harvest them so they will dry out for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, friends, we are back. The spearmint is as dry as it's going to get because we are going to start um, tying it up now. I just took two um, mint sections and I'm tying it together. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different, I'll have six different ones. I'm just gonna tie these and then I will be hanging them in the hallway because in the hallway we have our, we have a couple of shelving units which is where the pantry is and I'm going to hang them up on the top shelf and they can dry. 
So I'm just going to hang up there like this because it's nice and cool and dry in the hallway. It's the coolest room in the house because nobody lives in the hallway. So I'm going to do that. So again, we put some mint and ice cubes. We're gonna dry them like this and I will be able to use it for tea. Or I do have a dehydrator. You can also put them in the dehydrator, but I'm not so crazy about my dehydrator. Um, I plan on getting a different one as soon as I can. But for now, this is what we are going to do. We're just gonna hang them like this in the hallway. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any helpful tips or suggestions, we would love to hear them. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.